Now we got everything out of the car and we're ready to paint the carpet here. Uh, typically, you wouldn't have to pull the carpet out to paint this, but since this one's pretty used and, and a little bit dirty, we're gonna pull this out and wash it. And then we're gonna come back and we're gonna use vinyl dye. We're gonna use black satin to match the other accents in the car. But once we're done cleaning this up and get it spray paint, we'll lay it back in and we'll be ready to go. With everything out of the interior of the car right now, it's a great time for us to paint this headliner. We're going to use the HT's vinyl dye in a white. Well, we want to make sure we still mask off the areas we don't want to get over spray on. So now let's get started and we'll show you how this is done. Okay, now that we got everything taped off, we're, re we're protected from any overspray that we don't want in certain areas. Our next step for the headliner is to clean the surface using Dupacolor prep spray. We have the headliner cleaned and prepped. We're ready to lay down our VHT vinyl dye. This is a white satin that will help accent the color in here and give it a nice touch with all the black of the inside of the car. When we lay this down, we're gonna hold it about eight inches away from the surface. We do not need to prime it, but we're gonna put down a couple light dust coats and then one medium coat. Um, it'll dry to touch in about an hour, but it's important to put all coats in on within an hour. So now we just finished our two coats. We're gonna let this dry and we're gonna move on to our next project. Now that the carpet has been power washed, cleaned, and vacuumed, we're ready to use our VHT vinyl dye. VHT vinyl dye is really gonna work well in this type of application because it's gonna turn this from a blue discolored carpet to a nice uniform black finish. And it's very easy to use. So let's get started. Before painting the second coat, make sure it's dry to touch. We got the first coat down, and now we're ready to begin to lay down our second coat. Make sure you apply all coats within one hour. So we finished our second coat, and you can really see the transformation from that faded, discolored blue to the new black. When we pulled the carpet out, we noticed some light surface rust. What we're going to use to, to stop that from spreading is VHT's rust converter. Um, what we'll do is we'll clean up this area here and the rust converter will allow it to be sandable and easy to paint. But in this case, it's just going to have carpet over it, so we're just going to put it on there to prevent it from spreading. We're working on our rust affected areas. Once this is loosened up, we'll use our vacuum to get it all cleaned up and get ready for our rust fix product. Spray it, it'll go on clear, but it'll dry black in the rust affected areas. So it's been 24 hours. You can really see where the VHT rust converter has turned the rust black. It's not pretty, but it stopped the rust, and now we're ready to put our carpet back in. Now that you've seen how easy it is to use VHT's vinyl dye to restyle your interior, show us some of the projects that you also completed on our Facebook page. And remember to stay tuned as we continue to work on our 1972 Plymouth Satellite.